Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you guys how I do my skincare and makeup routine for days I'm having bad skin. The steps are quite simple and there's really not much to it, but I think this could be helpful for some of you guys who might be dealing with the same skin type that I have. So let's begin. I'm not really sure if you guys can see it on camera, but I do deal with very dry skin and on this particular day, I had some breakouts around my chin and also some redness all around. So what I like to do is do a face mask before I apply makeup and this is the Origins Clear Improvement Charcoal Mask. I think this mask really helps in bringing out the impurities underneath your skin, it clears it all out. After I put this mask on, I wait about like 10 to 15 minutes for it to dry and after it's completely dry, I wash it off with lukewarm water. After you're done washing your face, you should see that the redness has gone down a little bit and that your skin overall looks a little bit brighter. This is an extra step, but because the charcoal mask can be a little bit drying, I like to use a sheet mask to rehydrate my skin before I apply makeup. After around 10 to 15 minutes again, I take the sheet mask off and I just pat in the leftover essence. Next, I'm using the Tatcha Water Gel. And I like this product because it's very lightweight, it's not too heavy on your skin, and I feel like it's perfect because I am going to be using a lot of different products on my face after, so it's nice to just have a lightweight moisturizer underneath. Next, I'm applying the AC Care Sunscreen. I think wearing sunscreen is probably the most important part. It's really important to keep your skin protected from the sun. I do know that there are people who don't like wearing sunscreen because it can be too heavy or too oily on the skin, but this one in particular, it doesn't really have that. I think it's just right. But if you do have problems with that, I would recommend trying out different sunscreens and seeing which one fits you the best. Next, I'm using VDL Lumilayer All Over Stick, and this really helps in making your skin appear a little bit glowy. So I apply this where I need it, and for me, it's around the cheeks, the tip of my nose, the chin, and also my forehead. And I just blend that in and pat that into my skin and make it ready for the foundation. Next, I'm applying the Bourjois Radiance Reveal Healthy Mix Foundation. I'm applying one layer of foundation to cover up the imperfections and the redness and I think one layer is enough because I am going to use concealer right after. And to blend in the foundation, I'm using the Beauty Blender. For concealer, I'm using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and I'm using this to conceal my dark circles and also my pigmentation scars. So I'm just applying this where it's needed and then also going to blend that out with the Beauty Blender. So after we're done blending in the foundation and the concealer, this is what the skin should look like afterwards. Next, I'm using these two eyeshadows from the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette and I'm just applying this eyeshadow all over the eyelid. A few of you guys asked what eyeshadows and what eye makeup that I was wearing in my favorite blushes video and this exact eye makeup is what I wore in that video, except I didn't wear fake lashes. But I'm using the Aritam Shine Fix Eyes now and applying that over the eyelid as well and as well as the bottom waterline. And I really like this eyeshadow because it's a pot type and it's really really glittery and you guys all know that I really like glitter. <laughs> Now 
Next I'm using this red brown shade and I'm applying that to the outer corners of my eyes and also the inner corners of my eyes to add a little bit of depth. And I'm using this Bia gel eyeliner which is called Hippie Brown and this is just a brown eyeliner. And I'm using this to create a little bit of a wing at the outer parts of the eyes and that's just pretty much it. Next, I'm using the Bia Gel Eyeliner in Morocco and I'm applying that to the bottom half of my waterline. Then I'm curling my lashes with the Maquillage Eyelash Curler. Then of course, I'm using the Kiss Me Volume and Curl Mascara in the Super Waterproof and just applying that to the top lashes. For the bottom lashes, I'm using the Kiss Me Mascara in the Long and Curl, and this is in the color Steady Brown. Next, I'm using this highlighting palette and using those two shades to highlight the inner corners of my eyes. Next, to set the makeup, I'm using the Bare Minerals Illuminating Mineral Veil. I didn't really use to use powder on my face, but this one is a game changer. It has glitter in it and it just illuminates the skin and I feel like it overall makes your skin look 10 times better, so I do recommend it. Next, I'm using the Benefit Cosmetics Hoola and I'm just using this to contour some of the areas of my face and also contour my nose. Next, I'm using the Benefit Cosmetics Gold Rush Blush in the mini size and I'm just applying this to my cheeks. This blush is definitely more on the subtle side, it's not really that pigmented so I feel like it's a highlighter blush more than anything. But the shade is really nice and if you haven't seen it yet, I did post a favorite blushes video so I'll leave that in the cards if you guys haven't checked it out yet. Next, I'm using these two shades from the highlighter palette again, and I am using this to highlight the cheekbones and the nose, the forehead, and the chin. So after we are done with the face makeup, this is what your skin should look like. For the lips, I'm using the Pera Pera Sugar Glow Tint in Strawberry Sweet and just applying that on the lips. And we are finally done with the makeup look. This is the before without anything on my skin, it looks a little bit dull. And this is the after. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!